What's up everyone, it's just Blaze89 In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a 27 kill streak I got on Ambush And whilst you're watching that, I'm going to be giving some tips to try and help you Play better on Call of Duty Basically just some tips that if you're struggling to get go positive in games Or struggling to do well, these tips might help you out hopefully So give the video a listen, see what you think But before we get into the tips, I've got some shout outs to do the first one is going to be The Wonderful Life, then P to the J, and finally Gamer Noob1915. Go check those guys out, subscribe to them if you can, it would mean a lot to me. Tell them that, you, tell them that I sent you. As, I say, as I've said before, it's always worth subscribing to these people, they might even subscribe back to you. And it's just good karma, let's help each other grow. And you know, there's no need to be selfish basically, let's help each other out. If we're all grown together, then it's beneficial to everyone. So go check them out, and let's get into this video. So, my first tip that I'm going to give you, is one that I've gave a million times before in pretty much 90% of my best class setup videos. Which is basically, a good way to get kills without being killed, or just a good way to get easy kills really is if you skirt st try and stick to the outside of the map the outskirts so if you skirt around the map via the outskirts of it rather than going through the middle you've got a better chance of sneaking up on people and a better chance of catching people off guard obviously the reason for that is that more often than not the middle of the map is where everyone's looking and it's also the most he heavily trafficked and busiest part so you like to face people head on and on top of that you're going to face multiple people and people that have got you scoped out snipers and whatever like that another the another tip that i've got for you is basically along those lines because it's to do with skirting around the outside but if you're feeling confident when you skirt around the outside the best thing you can do is head in the opposite direction of your team so if you look at your mini map on the top left whatever direction your team's heading in go in the opposite direction so if they're flanking round on the right from the outside or just flanking around the right in whatever way then you go round left the reason for that is your team's going to draw attention of the enemy so they're going to be focusing on where your team's coming from and where you're coming from where the team isn't nine times out of ten there isn't going to be anyone focusing on that side and if they are focusing on it then they're not really going to be many of them there's going to be one or two at most you're less likely to run into a whole group of enemies so that's my first couple of tips another tip that i've got which is a common mistake people make i make it myself sometimes when i don't pay attention to what i'm doing and that is when you're going around corners don't run don't sprint around corners when you're going to go around the corner walk around the corner the reason I say this is because if you sprint around the corner, it takes you longer to get your gun up and get your shots off if you bump into someone. Whereas if you walk around it, you're likely to be quicker on the draw and get the kill easier. So that's a useful one to use. And I'd really recommend people trying to stop themselves from doing that. If you can stop yourself from running around corners, you will notice a difference in how quickly you get the kills. And how, how much more often you'll win that one-on-one -on -one gunfight. Because you're likely to get the shot off first. And in a one-on-one -on -one like that, where it's just spontaneous as you've gone around a corner, obviously, whoever gets the shot off first is normally going to get the kill first. Another one that I've got for you is a common mistake people have. And it's not so much a mistake, really. It's not a mistake. It's just a bad habit. And I had it myself, and I've pretty much got away from it now, although I do still sometimes do it. And that's going for revenge kills. One of the worst things that you can do for your score is go for revenge kills especially if it's against a camper so the reason being if someone's camping in a building say they're camping on the stairs and they've killed you or they're camping in a window somewhere and they've killed you and you're going to keep running at the building trying to get him and nine times out of ten he's waiting for you he's in an advantageous position and he's likely to get the drop on you and kill you so why are you feeding him <laughs> why do you go for the revenge if you don't go for the revenge kill then he hasn't got you running to him you're not giving him easy kills you must have been there yourself most people have where you're trying to get revenge on someone who's camping in a building or doing what i'm doing here and you you're running up on him again and again and he probably gets you four or five times maybe even more than that before you finally get the drop on him and kill him 
Well, you didn't win there even though you got him in the end, did you? Because <laughs> you died five times and he died once. And also, you're giving him free kill streaks and everything. So if you don't like camping, the best thing to do is don't feed the person that's camping. So if someone's camping in the building, don't go in there, don't bother challenging him, just leave him to it. If no one goes to him, then camping isn't going to work and he's going to finish with about two kills for the game. So the other tip I've got, as I say, is don't go for revenge kills. It's a bad habit and it's easy to get into because it is really satisfying to get revenge kills. I know that. And sometimes it is worth doing. Like if you're sniping, you tend to be able to get revenge kills on other snipers. But don't go in the same direction that you went the first time. Because if you died the f going one way the first time, you go the same way again. Odds are you're going to die again the same way. Another tip that I've got for you is when you're firing with fully automatic weapons the length of time that you can hold the trigger down for gets shorter the further that they are away if you want to remain accurate what i mean by that is if someone's close range let's say shotgun range then you can hold the trigger down as much as you want you can bullet hose and just just empty the whole clip you don't have to let your finger off the trigger and you'll still be fairly accurate but if someone's at medium range, then you want to be only holding it for a few seconds, maybe maybe like three three seconds, three, four seconds, and then letting off for a second and back on if you want to keep the accuracy. Because as I say, the longer you hold it, the more your gun recoils and the worse the accuracy becomes. So at, at short range, as long hold it down as long as you want. At medium range, you want to be going for about three to four seconds, no longer than that. In between and then have burst fire it at that sort of rate so it's not quite like just a short m16 burst you can hold it longer than that but you want to be doing it for like three four seconds at medium range no more than that and then let off the trigger and you can go straight back on it pretty much instantly it just letting it off helps you get that maintain that accuracy and then obviously if you're at long range or at the edge of your guns range if it's an smg long range is different to what it is with an assault rifle besides the point if you're at long range and you want to just be doing short bursts with most assault rifles the only one really that you can hold down and just spray is the m4 other than that you just want to be short bursting it almost the sort of burst length as an m16 to be honest if you want to keep the accuracy at long range and then my final tip for you is one i've given all of my smg classes which is when you're running around and you're running with an SMG or a shotgun or even to a certain extent an assault rifle if you're close quarters and you'll come up on someone nine times out of ten you don't need to take the time to aim down the sight you're best off aiming with your hip fire as long as you're good at hip firing which is easy to do it's pretty much spray and pray and you can bullet hose with hip fire as well then hip fire is the way to go at close range there's no real need to waste the time it's going to take to aim down the sight oh and i have got one more tip for you actually and that is one that i've gave in my sniper videos recently which is claymores and that tip is when you're planting a claymore you want to plant it so that the enemy's going to run onto it like i did there so it's just slightly pointing inwards the reason for that is by the time he's triggered it and he thinks he can run past it and get away because you'll notice a lot with claymores you can trigger them and, th and and as long as you keep sprinting or maybe you sprint and jump you can get away from it and survive but if the claymore's pointing in towards the building slightly like it was just there that means when he tries to outrun it it's going to get him anyway because he's running straight onto the direction that it's going to explode and get the kill that's all i've got tips wise for this video i have got lots more tips i can give and i hope the video wasn't too rambling and i didn't script it which was maybe a mistake i just did it let it got come like i winged it sort of thing just said it as i thought it um but hopefully it didn't come off as too rambling anyway i hope you enjoyed the gameplay there it's 27 kill streak and I hope these tips are useful to you. I hope you managed to make it through to the end of the video. If you did, I really appreciate it. I hope the video helps. It would mean a lot if you can subscribe to the people I gave a shout out to. So check them out. If you want to see more tips from me, let me know in the comments down below. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe for more. Peace.